Hello, my followers to the world of Sanalie. This is your guy Thomas. Come on, core breaker. I am core breaker. This is your guy, core breaker. So I decided to change my opening line because even though I am deeply in love with wine, there are more fascinating things to talk about and to show what every typical sommelier knows. Starting from wine, whiskey, beer, cider, and many other alcoholic beverages, to tea, coffee, water, kombucha, cigars, food, and other specific things. Another change, I decided to leave my authentic wine cellar because it's too cold and too dark in there, and there are too many eyes watching me. So I cannot relax and concentrate. Yes, spiders. 99% of the spiders have 8 eyes and I saw at least 3 spiders there, so you make a math. I spent one day watching videos on YouTube, how to be a successful YouTube blogger, how to grow your subscribers from 1 to 1000 in a month and I learned that I should make more content than just one video every Sunday. And one of the best advices were to make a versus video and there are hundreds of questions which pops up in people's heads when they are in the supermarket or alcohol stores. For example, Champagne or Prosecco, Chablis Gancou or Australian Chardonnay, Was or Vitel water, and many more. Another thing which I learned from those videos is to make useful content. So these videos, hopefully, will save your precious shopping time. I will not try to judge one product or another. I will only highlight the main differences between them. So first topic will be 1855 Bordeaux Grand Cru Classé wines versus Bordeaux AOP, what is Appellation d'Origine Protégée wines. So on the left side we have a Chateau Pédesclos 2015 from Poyac, according to the wine searcher, around 30 euro. And on the right side we have Bordeaux 2018 by Armand Chaperon. In little I got it for 4 euro 99 cents. So first of all I will talk about the wine making differences and regulations. I could not find any info about the latter wine so I will highlight the Bordeaux AOP regulations versus Poyac regulations. So Bordeaux AOP this tells you that this wine can be made from the grapes from all over the Bordeaux what is around 120,000 hectares. Usually producers do not mention what kind of grapes and percentages are in the wine. Uh, maturation date is minimum one year after harvest. Minimum planting density is uh, 2,000 wines, maximum uh, 60,000 wines. What mainly means that the more trees are in the field, less sun, they're gonna get. There are no regulations on grape sorting, crushing, maceration and other vinification processes. There are no regulations on viticulture except that grape ripeness, what is sugar in the grapes, should be minimum 178 grams per liter. Minimum alcohol content is 10%. Base yield is 55 hectoliters per hectare. There is no cellaring potential, so wine is made to drink now. And this appellation uh, represents 50% of all the Bordeaux wines. And mainly this is what you get from reading the label, uh, which only tells you that this is Bordeaux wine. And it is from 2018, which is by the way, a remarkable vintage. And going to the left side, uh, we have wine from uh, Grand Cru Classé 1855 from Poyac. The same as with uh, Bordeaux AOP, there is uh, a list of allowable grapes. Uh, whites are not allowed in this one, which must uh, come only from Poyac, which is only 23 square kilometers. Then there is a minimum sugar content, 170 grams 
minimum alcohol content 10.5% and limited yields, which are reviewed every year. One of the differences is that there is a blind tasting to make sure that uh, wines are Poyak in character. But most of the wineries go a bit further than those regulations. So this is the winery which got fifth row status and this mainly says that uh, 175 years ago it was one of the 61 best chateaus in the whole Bordeaux by the price and reputation which conquered around uh, 8,000 other chateaux. This is where we hold them! This is where we fight! This is where they die! This is quite solid. There are from 8,500 to 10,000 wines per hectare. Wine is usually made from four noble grapes, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, and Petit Verdot. And the percentages of these are varying depending on the vintage winery, mature their wines in French oak barrels, uh, 12 to 16 months, and do not release them before spending four years in cellar. Most of the work they do by hand, like harvesting, grape sorting, and other viticulture and vinification processes to ensure their highest quality. Harvesting is only done when separate plots reach the highest point of the ripening. There is a cellaring potential, which usually starts from 10 years, and wine can be used as an investment. This category of Medoga Cru Classe 1855 represents only 3% of all Bordeaux wines. So what's about the taste? In this one, you have uh, lots of acidity, you have alcoholic aftertaste, you have minimal tannins and few aromas of red berries and old wood. And on this one, you have uh, intense aromas of blueberries, plums, red currant, black spice, hard cheese, well-mannered tannins, lots of acidity, balanced alcohol and super duper long aftertaste. So for the conclusion, both wines are good in different situations. Depending if you want to have a pre-party with a few bottles of red, drink a glass of wine before sleep, even though I would not recommend that, bring a bottle to the picnic or have a few glasses while watching sports, you should pick this one. But if you want to enjoy every last sip of the wine, if you want to drink something which you will still remember after one year, and if you want to surprise your family or friends with your knowledge about Bordeaux wines, buying these type of wines obliges you to read about them before opening, or if you want to give a, a present to your 10 year old son, which you both could open and enjoy after uh, 10 years, you should choose this one. I hope this video was useful and I deserve a like. Please let me know in the comments what kind of fight you would like to see next. And to make sure you will see me again, push the subscribe button, which is somewhere here. So, cheers guys! You broke it. <laughs> Whoa. What in the world?